Yeah, I made another good movie. So <laughs> I. <laughs> An honor to see you. Thank you. Congratulations on another one. Yeah, I made another good movie. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> and another. It's no big deal to you anymore. They're yeah, all good. Sure, movies. it is. Yeah, it's always a big deal. Come on, you always want to be in stuff that people are going to watch, right? Yeah, that's well, a. That's the goal, number one. Sure. You know, you don't want to be that guy that makes movies that suck that, that nobody comes to see. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was talking to Brad and the filmmakers at Pixar, and they said, if not for you, it wouldn't have happened. Then, in fact, you were the one saying, we should be doing another one. <laughs> I've been saying it for a while. Oh, okay. Well, people have been bugging me about it for at least 12 years. Right? Yeah. Why Every did week it take in my so feed, long? It's like, where is Incredibles 2? We want to see Incredibles 2. I have no idea. Um, well, you know, Brad was off working with real people, you know, as opposed to us cartoon characters. <laughs> right. Uh, doing things like Mission Impossible and figuring out his other action genre muscle. Oh, that you know, thing. Which was fine. Uh, and, you know, I guess one of the theories has always been that Incredibles was such a perfect movie. Right. It's almost impossible to make a movie that's as good, let alone even a little bit better as a sequel should be. So I think they figured it out. It took them a while to figure it out. And the thing about it, sometimes with sequels you worry that the script is going to be kind of a stretch, but this is so organic. There's every reason this movie should be happening. It just yeah. seems like the other one, like a continuation. It's like I said, you just had to find that moment. And the fact that this movie basically takes place like two days after the other one stopped. Right. It's kind of like, oh, okay. And we have information that the family doesn't have. We know that Jack-Jack can do things that they don't know about. Right, right. So it's just a matter now of figuring out what can he do. I wish I could have been in the room the first time you saw some of those scenes because you have the heartiest laugh on the planet. Oh, but the here a, you see the Jack Jack scene. We had an awesome that? time watching the Jack Jack raccoon scene. It's amazing. Do you have other favorite moments? Well, any of the moments I'm in might be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the moment where I, where, I, where I go to the house and yeah. he's he's just frazzled and I'm looking at the kids and they're like looking at me like. <laughs> right, That's right. Jack. Just kind of like, okay, so I'm the best friend who's coming over. I say, you need to lay down. Let me feed the kids. Come on, guys. Let's go with me and give your dad some peace. You actually got the Frozone look in your face when you just did Frozone for a moment. I uh, did it. A little bit. Oh, a little bit. I wonder what the reason for that was. I wonder why they, I wonder why they illustrated him that way. <sighs> <laughs> Do you have any superpowers? Uh, Something I we don't know money. about you. What's that? I earn money. <laughs> Isn't that the greatest superpower it's of them It's not a bad power to have. My wife loves that power. <laughs> right. Yeah, my daughter's not. Yeah, she's fond of it, too. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Yes, it does.